Today, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal is vehemently defending comments he made just this morning in London about so-called no-go zones in Europe, places where supposedly in Europe, where he says Muslims, Muslim enclaves carry out as much Sharia law as they can. I knew by speaking the truth we were going to make people upset. Even today in the Daily Mail, you had a local police chief admit that there are no-go zones here in London. I did say so-called no-go no zones, and I think that the radical left absolutely wants to pretend like this problem's not here. Pretending it's not here won't make it go away. Perhaps Jindal, a potential 2016 Republican hopeful, got the idea of these so-called no-go zones from Fox News. There are zones in the UK, they're called no-go zone, no zones, where cops won't go into the neighborhood yeah. because they're heavily Muslim, mm -hmm. they're Sharia law, and they let them do their thing. They let them separate. They let them have their no-go zones. These so-called no-go zones. They're called no-go no zones. These incredible no-go zones. The no-go zones. Megan, there are 751 no-go zones. The 751 no-go zones. The 751 no-go zones. These no-go no zones. We saw the no-go zones. And These small no-go zones. That's the no-go zone? Of course, Fox News, unlike Bobby Jindal, has since apologized for its coverage. A correction now. Over the course of this last week, we have made some regrettable errors on air regarding the Muslim population in Europe, particularly with regard to England and France. Now, this applies especially to discussions of so-called no-go zones, areas where non-Muslims allegedly aren't allowed in and police supposedly won't go. To be clear, there is no formal designation of these zones in either country and no credible information to support the assertion there are specific areas in these countries that exclude individuals based solely on their religion. We apologize for the error. We deeply regret these errors and apologize to the people of Birmingham, our viewers and all the been offended. So basically, we're sorry that there's no credible evidence underlying the thing we've been talking about for two straight weeks across multiple programs. But talk of Muslim-only communities of no gones speaks to a very specific kind of fear and anxiety, the kind of anxiety that can turn ugly, which is what happened over the weekend in the Texas town of Garland, where hundreds of people gathered, one holding a sign that read, go home and take Obama with you, another, America, land of the free, Islam, home of the slave, to protest a conference that organizers say was aimed at teaching Muslims how to fight negative depictions of their faith. On both sides of the street, protest and counter-protest. We're here to stand up for the American way of life from a faction of people that are trying to destroy it. If they want to live their life like the Middle East, they can go back to the Middle East. 